Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the first ever recruiting special here in the UIC Legacy Mode. And we just got a glimpse of Jalen Trimble out of Chicago, Illinois. Now, one thing I love about this game, the recruiting database is huge. I mean, it is huge. And one thing that I'm going to take advantage of is recruiting in the area and in the Midwest. And Jalen Trimble from Chicago, you can see he can shoot the three pretty well as a point guard. He's got good size, six foot four. And, you know, I don't I do worry about his defense just a little bit. I don't really know how good of a defender he really is, but his top priorities are being close to home and getting good coaching. So surprisingly, his top school is Louisville. I, I don't know why he would want to go there over UIC, probably because they're a bigger program. But still, his top partners are staying close to home. You would think he would want to come and uh, hoop with UIC, but he is still on the list for UIC. But right now we are sixth, so hopefully we can catch up. So every single season, we will host a tournament of the best high school prospects in the nation, and we will kind of have it as a three-day tournament. So every year, you will get a recruiting special, and the top talent will come to Chicago and play at UIC and Loyola University, and we will have a three-day tournament, like I said, with the top prospects in high school basketball. So let's start with the juniors. And I already talked about Trimble a little bit at point guard, but let's talk about a two guard that could play aside him. Now that is a misprint, he is a junior. This is Daquan Jordan. Now he is a scorer. So if Trimble can kind of be a playmaker and kind of be a spot up shooter at point guard, I think that this guy, Daquan Jordan, could make a difference as far as scoring. Now he is a scorer off of the bench in high school. so. Maybe I will use him that way if he does commit to UIC, but I guess we'll have to see. Now let's talk about our second junior here that we're talking about here in these highlights. This is Bubba Moreau. He can shoot for a big guy. Now he is huge, 275. He is a stretch five, six foot 11, and he has the size and strength to really be an anchor of a defense. Now, one thing I do worry about is his low post offense, but I think that can be worked on. And he is still a junior, so he's still got another year to develop. I think he can turn into a great basketball player in Louisiana, and he is a three-star prospect, so we will have our eyes on him come this year and next year. So let's talk seniors here, and we're starting out with Cameron Denisio. He is a six foot six Italian small forward out of Baltimore, Maryland. Now he is really, really long on defense. He has a wingspan. I mean, that stretches so far. I mean, this guy uses his length to play three positions, really. He can play the two guard, three guard, and he can also play f the four. And honestly, he is actually polished as a scorer. He can drive the basketball better than most guys in the country. But the problem is he's committed to Towson. So we do miss out on him. I could have definitely used his defense and his length but we're gonna have to look elsewhere for a nice guy who can play three positions. Now let's move on to the senior. That's another misprint. He's not a junior, he is a senior, J.R. Walker. He is a three-point marksman. He is one of the best shooters in the country right now. And honestly, I think we have a legit shot at getting him. Now, he is a three and D guy. He's not going to create his own shot, but he is consistent in shooting the three ball. He's not very athletic. He's kind of maybe not a one trick pony, but he's basically just going to hit threes. And that's basically what I want from him. He is one of the best uh, offensive players on in the state, actually, in Alaska. He is a three star prospect, averages about 26 points per game, and he makes about th uh, six threes a game. So that's 18 points on just three pointers. Now let's talk about the guy who I think has the highest ceiling. It's Demarcus Jones. He can be an elite scorer in the NCAA. Six foot four, 205 pounds. And honestly, if we get him, he will be an explosive scorer for us out of Minnesota. And I honestly think that he is going to be probably the best guy. If I had to choose one guy out of this class, he is going to be the best and the most well-rounded. He can play defense 
and he has committed to UIC already. He's got a lot of potential, and he will have a chance to maybe even play his freshman year, especially with Brett Williams graduating this season. So let's take a look at our targets list here as we look at Jalen Trimble, who is a pretty good point guard. He is a junior, 83% locked with him. And he is, like I said, the top school is Louisville. We'll have to keep up with his progress. Now, Daquan Jordan, we are in third with him. It does help that we he is from Chicago. His top priorities are getting playing time and feeling wanted. And that is interesting because we have offered him, we will offer him a scholarship come next year. He's going to be a top prospect for us. I'm excited about him. Now, I really, really want Bubba Moreau. There's no player on our roster that is like him that can step out and shoot the three as a center. He is six foot eleven. He's got size as well. But it looks like LSU could be his destination. I hope. I really, really hope that we can catch up in recruiting, and I will have to see what we can do with him. But I do, do like his potential, and he is an amazing junior right now, and he has a chance to maybe even stretch that to a four-star at the end of his senior year. Now, we highlighted that Cameron Denisio does commit to Towson, and it looks like we weren't even close in that. He will already commit to their school. Demarcus Jones, like I said, he does commit to us, though. So we do get at least one prospect here, and he does have a B shot. C skill, C defense, B plus athleticism. So he will, will be more athletic than what we initially thought. So I'm excited for him. Now, let's talk about another custom recruit here in J.R. Walker. Now, he is ranked number 769 in the nation. I actually think that's a bit low, and we are his only team he's interested in and the only team that's interested in him. Now, his top three priorities are getting playing time, being close to home, and feeling wanted. He's not going to be close to home. I guarantee that coming from Alaska, but he is an amazing shooter. I am surprised that so many guys are are overlooking him it's amazing with all the ncaa schools in this game i am really really surprised at that so i do want to just talk about how i will do custom recruits so each year i'm going to create three seniors and three juniors so we will follow you know stories of juniors and seniors and kind of keep pace with them so right now we have six total recruits so three seniors three juniors Next year, we will make another six. So that will make nine total that we'll have recruiting at one time. And it'll kind of have a revolving door type of feel in this. I don't want to have too many recruits. So nine will be the most that we will have since we're doing six at a time. And then next year, we'll have three seniors along with six new prospects. So let's talk about the non-custom recruits. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to rename these guys when they do commit to the school. So if you guys do submit a player profile, uh, which I will for this season, I'll use the player profiles we use for uh, in the community tab when I started the series. But let's just look at a couple other guys. Denim Granger, 10 points in the ABL league. He shot actually 55% from three. So this guy is actually really, really good. I like him right now. He we do offer him the scholarship, six foot six, 622 ranked. And I do have restrictions here with uh, recruiting. I'm going to have it so I can't recruit above 400 in the first season. Then it'll be 300 in the second, 200 in the third, and then 100 in the last one. And then no restrictions in season four and five. And let's just look at some other guys. JP Park out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It looks like he will be headed here. I have not offered him a scholarship. I'm hoping he will just walk on and we'll see what he does. I do want to save our scholarships for some guys we might that might end up coming up later on. Now, WC Man is a pretty good uh he is listed as a small forward. He should be more of a two guard. I'm not really sure why he's listed as a small forward. What I don't like is his shooting. In the ABL, he shot 29% and shot 25 from three. And that's mainly the reason why I have not offered him a scholarship right now, because his shooting is definitely something to be left for desire. And I do think that maybe we should hold off on offering him a scholarship. So we'll see how it goes. So the last guy I do want to talk about on our target list, and it is Rashad Eady. Yeah, he actually isn't on our target list. I just offered him because for some reason, College Hoops doesn't allow more than 10 targets for some reason. So I, I kept him off the target list, but we are still recruiting him. Now, Rashad Eady is really, really good. 
six foot six small forward. He can actually shoot pretty well. Shot 31% in the ABL league, 39% from the field. I think that can get up, but he averages 11 points and average five rebounds. So we have a good, like I said, another guy like Cameron Denisio, which I kind of valued his length. I think Rashad Eady will also have that length. And he's kind of an all-around type of prospect. Two-star, 457 in the nation, but from Chicago, Illinois. And it is going to be a two-way race between Chicago and UIC. So we will have to compete against a rival in our home state. So before hopping into Big Ten play, I do want to look at the recruits that are going to Big Ten school. Starting with Archie Sparks, he's going to Illinois, Mr. Basketball in Wisconsin, the number 61 overall player in the state or in the nation, number 13 small forward. He's going to Illinois and just looking at each school, they are going to be good in recruiting each year over us until we uh, kind of start recruiting and getting better as far as progression. Howie Bragg is a top prospect, number 20 headed to Indiana and then Adam Mathis, Mr. Basketball in Tennessee, four star 27 overall he's headed to indiana as well iowa is doing all right in recruiting but not as good as the other two illinois and indiana number 81 140 and 223 let's look at their top guy rexon st Clair. he did not play in the abl league so he does not have any stats so we don't really know how good he is but michigan has kena west a top point guard average 16 points in the abl 51 percent from the field look at this guy 16 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, and 2 steals, 56 from 3. I mean, that is just amazing. This guy is going to be really, really good. And just looking at him, I mean, he's going to be probably a day one starter for Michigan. Now, Michigan State has a top prospect in W. Pre w. B. Pratt. Six foot eight. he's a senior as well out of Chicago. So he takes one from our city, and he is headed to Michigan State. Now, Minnesota, they're having a decent year recruiting. They have four already, though, four commits. And let's just see if any of them have some ABL stats. It looks like Curtis Bowman, 6'9", 354 ranked in the nation, 44% from three, but only nine three-pointers attempted in the ABL, 43% from the field. And he did have 9.5 points and seven rebounds, a block and a steal as his averages. Now, Northwestern, I think, will have the biggest uphill battle. They have the longest tournament drought out of anybody in the Big Ten. 13 and a half points for Bernard McGee. He is the 112th ranked prospect in the nation out of Bowling Brook, Illinois. And then they have Sheldon Queen out of Chicago, another Chicago guy. 10.5 points in the ABL. He shot 16 of 30 from three. He is in a a pretty good three-point shooter and then butch dewitt he's 294 ranked he's pretty good and then they have about six recruits already i think that's the most in the big 10. But let's talk about the powerhouse here with ohio state they have three top 20 recruits starting with mr basketball and the number one prospect in the nation out of minnetonka minnesota gerald faust he did not play in the abl but he's the number one recruit in the nation that is enough right there now let's look at harry eaton though the number two uh recruit in the nation man he averaged 22 in the abl 40 percent from the field six rebounds three assists he is a two guard he is going to be amazing for ohio state and then they also have another prospect another five star in mr basketball in indiana he is damon braun 10.5 points per game six and a half rebounds four and a half assists and he actually shot 40% from the field, 31% uh, from three. That's actually not too bad, but it's not actually great as well. Now, Penn State does get a top prospect, and you wouldn't expect Penn State basketball to be good, but here they are. Felipe Axton, six foot two out of Toronto, Canada. Interesting. The number two rated point guard in the nation. I'm not really sure what he does well because he doesn't have any ABL stats they have a pretty good prospect in him and then our only prospect right now that has committed to our school is two-star prospect demarcus jones so that will do it here in this episode and looking at the top winning teams in the ncaa you can see uab has 14 wins and only one loss and they're not ranked yet probably because of their rpi 
But looking at who is ranked, it's Southern Illinois. They are 12-0 and and number two in the nation. That is really, really surprising. And it looks like looking at their wins, they beat USC, Indiana. I can see at least why they're ranked, but number two is a little too high, definitely. And looking at some other top schools, Marquette is number four. They are 11-1. and one. Kentucky is 11-3. and three. And then Kansas is 11-1. and one. And Louisville is also 11-1 and one and number three in the nation. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. We're coming back for more UIC legacy in conference play to start out Big Ten play. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, hey, filling out these job applications. Life got hard after high school graduation. I went to college and your boy got financial aid. They gave me money, then I went and bought a pair of J's. And I bought a pair of shades. And I bought a new computer. Half a hundred dollars left. Spent the rest on...